Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I want to talk about business stats. Are you tracking and measuring your business on a day-to-day -day basis, on a week-to-week -week basis, on a month-to-month -month basis, on a year-to-year -year basis? This is something I will tell you I used to never do. When I started my business, I was thinking, all right, I want to get more clients. It's all I thought about was let's get more clients. I didn't have, all right, let's get five more clients or two more clients, or I didn't have a financial goal. Um, I didn't have, even when I started, I didn't even have goals for my own clients that they could achieve. Then after a couple of years of trial and error, <laughs> which is, I mean, if you talk to any, I would say, quote unquote, successful coach who's been doing this for a long period of time, the first couple of years suck. The first couple of years are hard. Um, you learn a lot, you go through a lot of trial and error, and then you figure things out and you get smarter. You start to understand business more. And one of the things I learned was if I do not track what's going on, then I cannot understand what the future looks like. And this is the thing. Most coaches out there, most personal trainers, most business owners are not tracking anything, right? I have this dialed down to a science now on my end. And this is what I do for coaches in our mastermind program. I have all of the templates, all the same stuff I use to track everything, to track every single sales call, to track where every lead came in from. Um, how many times were, did we need to follow up with that lead? Uh, what did the, the call look like? Uh, why did they join the program? Why did they not join the program? What are the common objections? Um, and we know everything. We track every little detail like a vulture in the sky <laughs> who's ready to come down and eat the prey. That's what we do. We understand everything, all right? And we, we from a, a bird's eye view, can see what's going on below us, all right? We're not on the ground waiting for something to come get us. We are proactive. We are searching, and we know what's below us. And when we know what's below us, the game is a lot easier. Business is easier when you can track everything. And let me show you. I'll just kind of give you a little sneak peek at this. Uh, when I turn the screen around here, you can see there, all right, I have my little whiteboard. And on that whiteboard there, it shows what my sales goals are, all right? It shows what my mission is. It shows what my rules are. Um, and then the bottom half of that shows everything that I'm doing over the next three days. And to give you a clear example, like with my sales goal, this is for a new program I just started. Um, I have on there, it says March 1st start date. So obviously, like we're in May right now. Uh, but I wrote that down and I wrote from 1 to 100. That's how many new clients I'm going to be closing between now and the end of the year. And I'm already on, uh, I've already closed 21 clients for that specific program. That was when coronavirus started, right? So I'm showing you just from my end, right? How detailed it is. Every time I get a client, boom. But I have spreadsheets in place. I'm understanding where this lead came in, right? How long was our call? Did I record the call, right? What happened after the call? Did they sign up? Did they not? Why didn't they sign up? And am I studying these calls, right? These are things a lot of people are not doing, right? And when you take the extra steps, right, ultimately you become the Michael Jordan of sales in your business. And that's the thing. Like the last couple of weekends I've been watching uh, that Michael Jordan documentary on ESPN. And it's funny to see just how him and Pippen and Rodman and Kerr, right? It's like, they just do the little things right. Other players were not doing the little things right. Like they show up, 
they know what to do, they know their role, and they stick to it, right? And that's how you have to be with your business. If you suck at something, you either learn it or you pay somebody else to do it, right? Odds are, you, if you don't have the money to pay someone, then you need to learn it. So with sales, for example, like what I'm showing you here is very detailed. Like I have a tangible goal that I will meet by the end of the year, right? Already 20% done, okay? But are you operating that way? All right, that's my question. We don't need to talk about me. Let's talk about you. Are you operating that way? Are you organized? Like, where are your clients coming from in the first place? Is social media working for you? Are you writing emails? Right? Is your website pulling in leads? How are you marketing? Right? And what I've seen, right, because I have a huge sample size now, of coaches that I've talked to, I talk to coaches every single day. Right? And what I see though is a lot of coaches are waiting and hoping to get new clients. They don't have a predictable sales system in place. So that means at the end of the month, right, they're either going to be happy that they got clients or they're gonna be like, oh man, I don't know where my next client's coming from. And if you're in that position right now, I'll tell you, it's, it's really difficult to run your business when you don't have leads that are coming in. But how do we get leads? Where are these leads coming from? Are they good leads? Are they bad leads? Are they crap leads, right? And when you look at what you're doing now, this is why I love business, is you have to look yourself in the mirror and be like, yeah, this is working, or nope, it's not. If it's not working, all right, you got to change what you're doing. You have to pivot. If you don't change what you're doing, you're gonna get the same results. This is why I also see, you know, a lot of times, when uh, coaches onboard new clients, they're not really onboarding new clients. They're exchanging cash or check for a service. That is not gonna work, right? Let me tell you a quick story and then we'll end the video. It was about mm, eight years ago, all right? This happened around eight years ago. Uh, I was sitting down with someone uh, who was a much more experienced coach than I was. He'd been in the game for 20 plus years, right? And he was a lot older than me. Had a ton of clients, like a lot of success stories. He was like the go-to guy for his niche. Very well respected. I respected him a lot. And we were sitting down and, and I was asking him how, you know, how he was collecting money from his clients, um, and also where his clients coming from. And it was all referrals, which is awesome, right? So he had a way of getting clients, all referrals, but he was not doing the stuff I'm talking about here. All right, what he's doing is he's getting paid cash and checks. And I asked him, I was like, well, does everyone pay? Like, does everyone actually pay you? He was like, yeah, you know, I've had some clients who, who don't show up with the money or they don't bring me the check or their check bounced. And I was like, in my head, cause I hadn't switched over to the online payments yet, but in my head I was like, man, that's, that sucks. Cause I already had clients who didn't pay me either. And I was still trying to figure out what, what's gonna be the best way to do that. Cause collecting money online eight years ago, like it, it's not like it didn't exist, but it, it wasn't, a popular option, I don't think, for even business owners to use if they were doing services. Um, and the crazy thing about that is like, as time went on, I know when I evolved what I did with my program, he wasn't doing that. Like his business ultimately went out of business because he wasn't accepting money online. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because there's a lot of coaches out there that are very stubborn. They're not willing to change. And that's a very minor tweak. Like getting paid online versus getting paid cash check is very minor. Like, and the stuff I taught in the, at the beginning of this video is not going to work for you unless you are willing to change and ultimately sack up, right? Got to sack up your, 
and run this like a freaking business, not like a hobby. And that's the difference. Like, I'm coaching uh, a lot of coaches right now that are, that are generating six figures with their business. And the biggest difference between them and those who like maybe are have the same level of talent as, as far as coaching, uh, they have the same charisma level, like however you want to break it down, you know, they're great, both are great coaches. The biggest difference is, is the level of organization and level of understanding, all right, this is where my leads are coming from. This is how I'm talking to them. Am I improving? Right? Do I have a consistent way of getting leads and closing leads? And what are my sales goals? Like for me, my sales goals are right there. Got nothing high. And when I get into this office every day, it's me, cowboy, and my sales goals. Right? I don't need to talk to anyone about it. I need to just look at that and be like, all right, am I on track? And I can look at myself in the mirror at the end of the day and be like, all right, put in a good day today. I got one inch closer to my goals there that I need to complete by the end of the year. All right. So I want to ask you the question, are you this organized? If you are not, do you need my help? Right. We've taken a lot of coaches like, and, and I'm just being brutally honest here, We've taken a lot of coaches who were struggling with their business, either just starting or they've been doing it for years, doing like two to five grand a month. Um, a lot of them we've been able to help uh, go above, way beyond 10 grand a month. Some coaches we're up in are doing north of $40,000 a month now. Um, and I'll tell you, like, it's not lucky that that happened. It's all designed and it's all set up by being more organized with what you're doing. And by being better and be the Michael Jordan of your niche. We're in the Michael Jordan of your niche and do the little things like this. All right. And I'll tell you, like, for me, I want to be the Michael Jordan of what I do. Like, I don't want to be second best. And I know I have to do stuff like this. If I don't do stuff like this, I can't move forward. I can't look back in a year from now and say, wow, this is actually a lot better than it was a year ago. Only way I can do that is by track. I need to track every little detail. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions for me, shoot me a text. Shoot me a text at 210-960-5771. It's the fastest way to get in touch with me. If you don't live in the U.S., send me an email at buildmysportsbiz at gmail.com. Go to our website, buildmysportsbiz.com. You can uh, join our email list there. Uh, we have a couple thousand coaches on that list. I send out two to three emails a week. That's uh, a little bit different than what I do here on YouTube. And um, go check it out. Um, and I'll talk to you soon.